Hello there, it's Phil Russell here from Hawkins Estate Agents. Um, we're in Baronscroft on a very, very wet, miserable afternoon here. Um, but it's there, the house directly behind me, and it's Hawkins' latest property tour. It's a lovely, lovely spot here, just off uh, Portland Drive, little cul-de-sac here. There's a few houses in front of me, and there's nothing then that side. Um, two bedrooms, semi-detached house, gas central heating, double glazing, extended at the rear, driveway, garage which the garage doors there but it's been partly converted inside um and lovely extension on the back backs onto the railway line don't let that put you off um it's not a main line or anything and there's a lovely extension on the back as well so definitely worth coming to have a look at but let's get inside let's go and have a look that's the uh, front of the house then as i said you've got the driveway just there just scooting down that direction that's the rest of baron's croft and then portland drives out there on the right um driveway there and a car in the garage at the side and then you've got the access through so let's dive up i'm gonna pop my face mask on and um, shoes off but there you go look number 17. right so we've dived in outside from the the rain and we're into the the hallway here it's a through hallway so you've got the stairs the two rooms down here we'll start on the front kitchen has obviously been refitted it's very smart it's high gloss units and it's all integrated so we'll just show you, you've got the tall fridge freezer, that's in there. You've got the washing machine bottom right, dishwasher in the middle. And then there's the oven and the hob and you've got, you've got some plinth heating down there as well. Boilers in there, the boiler's only just been replaced. So plenty of years on the warranty on that vertical radiator as well. And then there's the door and then the path then to the back garden. Just over the other side then is the, the garage. And obviously I mentioned about the garage, it's... The garage door's in situ, that's in place and it can be used, but there's a there's a sort of a wall then being put up to sort of create another room out there. So this one then obviously is the lounge. So you've got a feature fireplace, there's a um, log effect, sort of log burner fire in there. That's obviously electric. The laminate flooring runs all the way through here. And then into this room, which was extended around about four years ago. You've got some exposed brickwork here. I'm told it's um, from one of the hospitals that Florence Nightingale worked on when the the brickwork was um, sourced. So that's quite interesting. You've got the Velux windows up there. Obviously the lighting won't remain unless there's any deal there, but very funky in here. It's lovely, it really is a lovely room. Could be another sitting area, could be you know, the dining room as it's kitted out here as well. And then that's the, the garden. So it's an astro turf, so artificial turfing, and that carries on right the way around to the corner. You can see the slope just up there. And then just behind there, there is the railway line. It's not the main line. It's the one that heads out to towards Birmingham. Um, a few freight trains as as well. All right, there we go. So let's uh, let's get upstairs and have a look. So we just work our way up here then, last couple of steps, onto the landing, our built-in storage cupboard on here, two bedrooms as we said, bathroom in the middle, main bedrooms on the back, all very nicely done. There is a um, triple wardrobe just there, it's not a built-in but that will, that will remain. You probably didn't hear that, but that was a train just gone by, so that was good timing. Um, the line has been upgraded. We don't want you obviously having any shocks when you come through. This one's bedroom two, lots of stories then. That's obviously the stairs going down. Plenty of space in here. Still two lovely big double, double bedrooms. And the bathroom is in there. There we go, and you've got the the shower which runs directly off the boiler as well so right we're going to head back to the front of the property and we'll uh, tell you a little bit more there we go then so i'm laughing and giggling because we're out in the rain again um sorry we couldn't get into the back garden obviously just wasn't sort of viable there but hope that video tour has been okay for you it is absolutely lashing it down so if you like it now when it's in the rain and it's not a very very nice day then just imagine what it's like when the sun's out and and sort of so on um 
I, I really can't say, you know, it is a lovely spot here. Um, you know, okay, yes, the railway line's there, but it's very quiet here at the front. There's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses just in this little cul-de-sac just around here, um, this little sort of section. The guys have been here since 2013. They're just looking to upsize, got something a little bit bigger and they've seen something that they'd like. So um, available for viewings on this one straight away. So definitely worth coming to have a look at. We've just been chatting about amenities and everything. It is a great spot. So you've got walks, you've got schools, you've got amenities, you've got road links, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth coming to, to have a see. So give us a call through, have a look online. There'll be a few more details on there, the brochures, the spec sheets, floor plans, etc. Asking price here, £185,000, 185. And um, yeah, pick up the phone, give us a call. Let's uh, see if we can help you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Obviously, stay safe, take care. Bye-bye now.